This is a little demo of the Sargent EC155 power supply unit commonly installed in camper vans and caravans. Um, essentially it's an all-in-one electrical unit to provide 12 volt power and um, 240 or 110 depending on where you are in the world 220 and um, but essentially hook up power or 12 volt power on this side is your um, hook up power so in there you've got um, breaker circuits there and a master on off switch um, and so for example there we've got uh, the boiler for heating the hot water and we've got some extra sockets and the fridge as well so we can run the fridge, ours is a three-way fridge, so we can run it off gas, 12 volts, or we can run it um, via hookup as well, so that's great. On this side, like I say, you've got all your fuses in there for things like fridge, so that when the engine's running, um, it will supply power to your fridge. Um, your vent fans in the roof if you've got them, front lights, rear lights, ignition supply, because this does connect to the vehicle's um, 12 volt system so that when the engine's running this has got an intelligent 12 volt charger that will charge your leisure batteries so it is an all-in-one solution um, water pump toilet pump um, like I say 12 volt sockets if you got those um, a permanent supply uh, vehicle battery leisure battery heater fans and the charger all that kind of stuff is all in there it's all relatively easy to install and it all comes with wiring looms and everything so if you want a system that is simple to install just a few connections and a control panel that handles everything else then this is a system for you so the control panel for the sergeant system uh, the ec51 control panel has got quite a few different functions on it. I'm pretty sure there's probably a better one than this one, but this is one in our van. Obviously you've got power on, power off, battery selection, and as you select each battery, it shows you the level. Now if I wanted to, I can actually switch over to the leisure battery or the, the vehicle battery. So L for leisure, V for vehicle. And that's exceptionally useful because if our leisure battery shows a full charge, but the vehicle battery doesn't, what I can actually do is choose vehicle battery and that means if we want to hook up and the battery charge is on, it will charge the vehicle battery. Or if the solar panel is generating enough power and the leisure battery is full, it will go over to the vehicle battery. So it means I can keep my vehicle battery topped up from within the van without needing to charge it. Um, you know, like a trickle charge or even driving the van. But most of the time I leave it on leisure. Same with water, you can turn the pump on and off and when you do press that you get an indicator. So if you press that, that just shows you your water level uh, for your fresh water tank. That's all that one does. But that one there, the red light comes on when your waste water needs emptying. And that's pretty much the panel. What? So if you start your engine, this panel shuts off. In fact, the whole Sargent system shuts off. It takes power directly from the engine, 12 volts, and uses that 12 volt, a little trickle charge to charge the leisure batteries all automatically. It's all done. However, there's some law apparently that you can't have the uh, electrics on in the van whilst you're driving. So the system intelligently shuts down which isn't kind of great really. Say for example, you're in a lay-by and it's a hot day, you want the air conditioning running in a cab, so you've got the engine running and you want to nip to the toilet and you want to flush. So you cannot turn the pump on if the engine's running. So that's the downside of that. So with the Sergeant unit, what you get is um, the ability to wire up uh, 12 volt components in your van, like lights, fridge, um, you know heating systems like the blow air heating or a diesel heater all that kind of thing you can wire in there so essentially you have a way to connect to your vehicle a way to connect to your leisure battery and the control panel and then obviously connections to everything else you want to wire up it's a very simple unit it's very basic it's quite expensive but it is all in one it is everything you need if you want to set up um, a camper van electrics or caravan electrics and you just want one simple box with a nice little control panel that helps you manage everything now what i've done in my van is because i do believe that that is a great system however it has its limitations in the fact that 
Uh, there isn't like a just a little connector up there that says connecting extra things and if you look there there's no spare fuses at all they're all allocated so I've connected my own system which is in addition to this and that's what this system is here so under there is my two leisure batteries I've then got isolators that's an isolator for my solar panel an isolator for my batteries uh, that's my solar panel control unit charger um, and that's my 12 volt uh, fuse and connection system and essentially what this does is give me the ability to run things um, that are kind of out of the control of the sergeant system so for example one of the problems of the sergeant system as far as I can see is when the vehicle's running you lose all power now if I've got my laptop um, and other devices that I want to charge while I'm running the vehicle I can't do that off the sergeant system however via my system I can I can plug things into the USB I can plug things in using my inverter or everything else so I actually do get the ability to charge while I'm driving so that's why I've done this uh, this way so that's just a kind of like a, a brief overview really uh, the sergeant system has its own connection to the batteries and uh, the sergeant system has a fuse as well 20 amp fuse so it's fused there which goes back there and obviously everything from that control unit um, is then uh, connected through its wiring loom uh, it's an excessive wiring loom if I may say so and um, they make it for a minimum of a six meter van and you just buy everything so I've had to uh, shorten down my cables so that it's neater the installations far neater but as I say for reliability wise um, we've had camper vans and caravans that have had this unit in for many years and it's absolutely fantastic it's never let us down Thank you.